How's it going, guys? Past level question, hematology, genetics, step one, internal medicine, 2CK, eight-year-old boy. Today, history, yellow eyes, fatigue. Two weeks ago, recovered from an upper respiratory tract viral illness. Blood smear shown. Question once to know it's most likely to be seen as patient. Blood smear, highly buzzy, showing us bite cells, aka dugmocytes, which are partially phagocytosed RBCs by the spleen in G6P deficiency. The spleen is going to remove the Heinz bodies, which are denatured slash oxidized hemoglobin, produces these characteristic bite cell RBC. So let's just hop to the answer choice here. Choice A, AD dominant inheritance, wrong fucking answer, because AD for the sake of hematology would be hereditary spherocytosis, exceedingly high yield. They want you to know heterozygous because it's AD. A homozygous would be AR. So heterozygous mutation anchor in spectrum for hereditary spherocytosis can also be von Willebrand disease, exceedingly high yield that you know those are AD for hematology. G6P deficiency in contrast, is X-linked recessive. Choice A, wrong fucking answer. Choice B, AR inheritance, wrong fucking answer. For the sake of hematology, could be sickle cell. All right, so you got to know the, it's going to be missense mutation, glutamic acid, devaline, wrong fucking answer. Choice C, increased serum haptoglobin, wrong fucking answer. So in the setting of G, G6PD deficiency, G6PD normally an enzyme, that's going to increase the production of NADPH, which is a reducing agent that protects RBC membranes against oxidative damage. Now, in the deficiency of the enzyme, you're going to have increased intravascular hemolysis of RBCs secondary to oxidative damage, leading to release of hemoglobin into the blood. Haptoglobin is a molecule produced by the liver, and one of its functions can be to bind free hemoglobin in the blood and flush it out. So in the setting of intravascular hemolysis, serum haptoglobin would be decreased. Choice C, wrong fucking answer. Choice D, increased serum LDH, correct answer. So I've harped on this in some of my other clips that high LDH can indicate hemolysis in USMLE questions. It's a factoid you need to know. You can get a big rambling 10 line paragraph. Maybe, maybe the patient's jaundiced. You're not sure what's going on. And they can say serum LDH is high. And instantaneously, you just know that there's hemolysis in the question. So even if you didn't know that watching this clip, you say, really, that's past level? Well, you don't necessarily need to know that factoid because we can easily eliminate the others to get there. Choice E, wrong fucking answer, because as I just harped on, in the setting of G6 PD deficiency, NADPH pH would be decreased, not increased. Choice C. Wrong fucking answer. You know the deal. I'm going to make more content. I feel like my stuff's scrimmaging. Appreciate your time. That's it.